Okay, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Hey, Lynette is going to bring a word, and I ask you to listen with your heart as well as your ears. Thank you. This word I was given, uh, as a matter of fact, it was recently given to me, just, I want to say, the day before yesterday, and God said, deep impact. That's what I want you to talk about. And I said, okay, Lord, could you tell me what you mean by that? He says, deep impact. And the uh, scripture that he gave me was First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 3 to 7. And I'm going to read that to you. And I'm going to read it out of the, I believe this is, the NLV, the parable Bible. When they say everything is fine and safe, then all at once they will be destroyed. It will be like a pain that comes on a woman when a child is born. They will not be able to get away from it. But you are not in darkness. Christian brothers, that day will not surprise you as a robber would. For you are children of the light and of the day. We are not of darkness or of the night. Keep awake. Do not sleep like others. Watch and keep your minds awake to what is happening. And I was like, okay, Lord, I received that. And then he had me watch a movie I had seen a couple of times before. He had me go back and watch that movie. And the name of that movie is Deep Impact. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many of you have ever watched the movie or you know, whatever, but that movie is about two comets that are headed toward Earth. Mm -hmm. And the government, I don't want to give the whole movie away just in case somebody hasn't seen it, but to make a long story short, they weren't forthcoming about everything that was going on. And so by the time they learned of it, I mean, this, this comet was already on its way, ready to make a deep impact. Mm -hmm. But they were going along like, oh, everything's fine. Everything's cool, you guys. Everything's every, it's safe. Everything's all right. When in actuality, great devastation from this deep impact from the hit of this first comet came. And I get emotional about it because I actually felt an emotion rise up in me. I don't know how many times I've seen that movie, but an emotion that I had never felt before seeing this movie, and, and the Lord was saying, and this is how it's going to play out. There will be many that are going to perish. There are going to be many people, godly and ungodly, that are going to die because they were not prepared. And because a lot of us are guilty of listening to people, certain people in certain places, that tell us, oh, it's okay, we're going to go on and open this up and open that up, and hey, it's cool, everything's going to go back to the way it was, and they're lying to the people, God says. And a lot of people, God's, heavy, God's heart is heavy, because a lot of people are thinking about, oh, I've got a little, little money in my pocket, so let me get out here and go get my hair done, go get, you know, my nails done, and, you know, they said, they said, you know, that's something that we always say, well, they said, well, they said is lying to you. The word of God says, when they say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as shall they upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, like the movie Deep Impact. Yes, this is a warning, the Lord says. This is a warning to the church and to whoever has ears to hear. This is a warning. They are lying to you. There is a second wave. And now in the movie Deep Impact, there were two comets. One of them, I mean, it was it was utter just devastation and death. But this second one, baby, this second wave, oh my goodness, was utter complete destruction. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't have to go through that as children of God if we listen. God said, I don't care what happens. Okay? Now, he took me to uh, Psalm 46. Verse 2 and 3, I'm going to read that to you because, you know, the Lord gives warning and then there's also a word of exhortation and comfort for his people because he doesn't, he's not into scaring you and making you afraid. He says to be forewarned is to be forearmed. I want you prepared. Okay? So to go along with this, 
deep impact, God gave me this. Psalm 46, verse 2 and 3. So we will not be afraid, even if the earth is shaken and the mountains fall into the center of the sea, and even if its waters go wild with storm and the mountains shake with this action. And then I'm going to read it over here in the King James. A lot of people are more familiar with that. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, say lost. We will not be afraid, but these things are coming. That's right. And there will be a lot more death. Do not put your faith and trust in man, for it is, it is a snare unto thy soul, it is a curse for those who put trust in man. So remember what God said when they say, peace and safety, look out, watch out, for sudden destruction is coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me share this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. That was excellent. It lines up with what I'm sharing too. I'm sharing Isaiah 43 and Job chapter 5. Wow. Very good. Well, that, that was great. Yes. To God be the glory. Yes. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know what to say. And, and as I had asked him, he gave it to me like last minute. Well, that, that's how God rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's funny, but he has given a very similar message to a couple of other people on the internet. So I'm beginning to think that this is uh, this is really going to get hairy soon. Yeah, 